your weapon and track me down and your journey to the dark side will be complete. Hi and welcome to my continuation of reviewing a Star Wars movie leading up to Star Wars Episode 9, The Rise of Skywalker. So, um, so in a couple weeks, we're getting, we're getting a new Star Wars movie. Star Wars Episode 9, The Rise of Skywalker. And so before that movie comes out, I'm going to try to have watch all the Star Wars movies that had come out before that movie. And uh, review, review all the Star Wars movies for y'all, okay? Because some of these Star Wars movies, I haven't seen like a couple years or some. I haven't seen like longer. Um, so, um, I already review for y'all. Uh, New Hope and Empire Strike Back. Now I'm on Return of the Jedi. Okay, and um, so um, Return of the Jedi, directed by Richard McQuaid, uh, uh, Don Mar Hamill, Harrison Ford, Carrie Fisher, Billy D. William, Tony Daniel, Kenny Baker. Peter Mayhew, Frank God. Rele release date, May 25th, 1983. Running time, 132 minutes. Budget, 32.5 million. Box office, 475.1 million. Um, so, um, when I was growing up, I always consider Return of the Jedi my favorite one out of, the, out of the original Star Wars trilogy, okay? The reason why is because I like the lightsaber duel between uh, Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader and the Emperor shocking, uh, shocking um, Luke Skywalker and Luke Skywalker going, no! And, and also I like, I like the thing where uh, uh, Dark Vader said, if you won't turn, maybe she will. And he goes, and Luke Skywalker goes, never! See, I like stuff like, I like that thing in that movie, in The Return of the Jedi. And, um, and while I was growing up, I had the special edition, the Star Wars trilogy, of the original one. And, and I know, I know that when I was growing up, people, people always think that the Empire Strike Back was the, uh, the best one, and the best Star Wars movie, and one of the great movie, uh, one of the great movie sequels ever made. And um, now, uh, the other day, I finally rewatched Return of Return of Jedi, and I, ha I have it. Seen Return of the Jedi like, like a long time. Now the other day I rewatch it and I liked it. Um, now, uh, um, I I know I know uh, there's some stuff out of the original trilogy that hardcore fan like you know there's some editing and some stuff people want the original one. Well, uh, let me find that. Like, you know, in the in the New Hope, uh, people want to uh, want to go and uh, pick out the original version, where you know, um, uh, Han Solo talking to Jabba the Hutt, and that don't mean he looking like a giant, uh, you know, a worm. He's an Irish man, um, stuff like that, or. And one of the stuff I heard about Return of the Jedi was instead of, instead of the, the creature in the hole where um, Jabba the Hutt was going to, uh, you know, put, push uh, Shuri, um, Luke Skywalker, Han Solo, and Lando in the pit, and the creature going to eat them, the monster going to eat them. Uh, I, think, I think in the original version, it was just a, just a hole. And, and then... Uh, at the end, when Luke Skywalker looked over and did the hologram, um, um, I think uh, over the many years they changed it 
and they changed the hologram and I got the uh, the DVD trilogy and um, I watched the DVD trilogy that I had growing up um, and uh, so the other day when I watched it at the end it showed Hayden Christian and I didn't mind that I know people people that had their own opinion about that and I'll give you my opinion about Hayden Christian in the prequel when I when I when I review the prequel because after after I um, uh, review this movie then I gotta go on and what episode one a Phantom Minute and I'll turn and then I'll come back and review the Phantom Minute and I will let you know after I review after I review the Phantom Minute Attack of the Clone and with and uh, Revenge of the Dead, um, if I hate the prequel or not, because you know I know there are a lot of people out there that Batman Joe looking and Batman the prequel and stuff. But uh, when I was growing up, I I grew up with the Thor, the original Thor trilogy, and then going into the uh, going into the uh, prequel at a young age and liking them. But I know. That uh, there's some movie that I like when I was a little kid, loving them, and as I got older, going back and watching them, really like they're not good. So I want to see if that's the case with the uh, prequel Thor movie, because I liked them when I was a little kid, and um, so, so we'll talk about that when I review them. But um, so, but the with the original. Story movie, I think a lot of people are going to say Empire Strikes Back the bad and stuff like that. Uh, but I think people are going to have their own opinion. Some are going to say uh, New Hope, a New Hope is their favorite because it's it's the first one that kick off a legendary film franchise. And some are going to say Empire Strikes Back is the bad place because it started a lot of good stuff like. A lot of classic, I kind of lying like Luke, I'm your father. Um, but um, for, for me, if you ask me which one of my favorite out of the original Star Wars trilogy, I would probably say Return of the Jedi. But it is very close. It is very close between Return of the Jedi and Empire Strikes Back. And so we'll see. Uh, who knows? I might do. Uh, uh, do a video after the, uh, the rise of Skywalker and uh, uh, tell y'all which one of my favorite Thor movies. Um, many years ago, I, I went to Hot Club Burt and they had a bunch of different uh, VHS tape or uh, Return of the Dead Eye and I bought them. And so, maybe one of these have um, the thing uh, at the drop of the hut palette where where right before uh, Lando, Chewie, and Luke Skywalker and Han Solo were about to uh, be thrown in into the pit instead of the monster it's just the hole and also maybe they have the original um, hologram at the end of the movie instead of uh, instead of uh, you know uh, Hayden Christian or something um, but like, but then I don't have a VHS tape player. I can't watch them. But I, I, I just, I just bought them because you know a Star Wars fan. I think Star Wars fans should have these. Same thing with this. The same thing with this. But I don't have the the the, the Blu-ray one. Maybe one day I'll get it. Um, but um. Now, real quick, I got to talk about this. Uh, when I was growing up, the biggest thing that I heard people talking about that they were negative, that they, they criticized about Return of the Jedi, was the Ewok. And um, I like the, I didn't mind the Ewok, but I think that what people said that hurt the movie. And I think, I think if, if you took, took the Ewok down the movie. You know, the creature that look like the teddy bears. If you take them out, then more people probably would like them to be better. 
Okay? Um, I didn't mind. I didn't mind, you know, the Ewok. You know. Uh, I did get a bad picture. You know, you know. Um, here's another bad picture. Uh, right here. The Ewok. Um, uh, I didn't mind the Ewok. Um, but, um, so I like Return of the Jedi. Uh, like I said, when I was growing up, uh, Return of the Jedi was my favorite. But, uh, I don't know if it's still my favorite or not until after the, after the uh, Star Wars Episode 9 by the Star Walker. Um, but like I said, when I was growing up, the reason why it was my favorite when I was growing up because I liked the life they were doing between Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader, and uh, he gonna uh, he gonna never and uh, and um, the Emperor shocking uh, Luke Skywalker and Luke Skywalker going, Father, help me, please, and uh, and and he taking him uh, his father, Matt you know Darth Vader Mac off and seeing him. His, his face, his, his father's face off, you know, Darth Vader's face, face, right before he died, he was sad and emotional for me, his dad, 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 and, um, and, um, this was the, uh, this was the first Star Wars movie that we, we, we got to see the Emperor in the flesh, you know, and, you know, and, um, and um, the Empire Strikes Back, we just saw him uh, just, just in a hologram, talking to Darth Vader. But in this one, we saw him in the flesh. Okay? Uh, and also, so, to me, uh, Return of the Jedi had like a two sadded moment. The first time ever on screen, the death of Yoda when Yoda dies. And Darth Vader dies. Both of them was like that when Yoda passed away, and when and when Darth Vader died after he took the mask off, and he's like, "You were right, you were right," and it was just sad, just sad, and I liked that. And also, it was sad that he was the only person there, uh, watching his his uh, his father die, and, and you know when he when he when he when Darth Vader was burnt, getting burned up, when he would light him lighting Darth Vader on fire. You know, and he was the only one there, standing there, watching Darth Vader court burning up. And so I like this one, but I, I like Return of the Jedi as much as Empire Strikes Back. But so I would try to do a ranking, or or I should say, uh, tell you what's my favorite one after with the Return uh, after I go the uh, Star One Episode Nine, The Rise of Skywalker. When that movie came out, I would try to uh, give y'all, uh, uh, tell y'all my top three or top five favorite Star Wars movies. Um, cause um, there's some Star Wars movies that I like probably just just the same. Um, so, um, so basically, I like it, and um. I don't know what the what the hate is why people hating on the Ewok. I thought they were fine and okay in the movie. And they didn't they didn't uh they didn't make me badmouth the movie or hate the movie or do a rant. I like it. And I like the Return of the Jedi uh more than a new hope. And um so but basically here's the deal. Um I'm gonna give you my grade and then uh, I'm gonna go watch all, go, go watch the prequel, starting with, um, some Phantom Man, and then add I watch each, uh, each of the prequel Star Wars movies, I'll come back and review the movie, and then I'll start on the other one, the new one, the new one, with the, with the Davin, episode Davin, episode, uh, A, and the, and the, and the Fennel, Rogue One and Solo, okay, and, and then when episode 9 comes out, the Rise of Skywalker comes out, I'll come back and re uh, review that movie, and then I'll try to tell y'all which one is my favorite Star Wars movie. I'll do a separate video telling you what my favorite Star Wars movie or my top three or top five favorite Star Wars movie. Okay, 
and um, though um, I like Return of the Jedi, and um, so I'm gonna give it an A plus. Okay. Um, so thank God for watching, and um, so yeah. That's it. I gave every Star Wars movie in the original Star Wars trilogy an A+. But if I had to pick one, if I had to pick one out of uh, the Star Wars trilogy, the original Star Wars trilogy that my least favorite would probably be uh, A New Hope. But I still like New Hope a lot because it's the first one that started, all, started a legendary franchise and a legendary trilogy. But, um, so, um, um, that's my grade, an A+, plus. and, uh, like I said, I thought the Star Wars Episode 9, The Rise of Skywalker, I would try to get, tell y'all which one of my favorite, or do a ranking, or something like that. I thought the Star Wars Episode 9, The Rise of Skywalker. So, um, so here's, here's the thing. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below, did you like Return of the Jedi? Uh, did you hate the Ewok, or did you, did you, didn't mind the Ewok like I did? I didn't mind the Ewok. Um, was Return of the Jedi was your favorite, uh, growing up? Like, it was my favorite when I was growing up. And, are you excited for, uh, Episode 9, The Rise of Skywalker? And, like I said, um, I would try to, to do a video after I did the, uh, the Rise of Skywalker where I tell you my top three or top uh, five favorite Star Wars movies. Okay? Um, and this will probably be up there. Because I have a lot of nostalgia for it. When I was growing up, I watched this a lot. Okay? And, um, and so I'm going to go and watch the prequel and I'm going to see where everybody's coming from and why people Bad Mouth Do a Little Kid and Bad Mouth the Prequel. Okay? Um, so thank y'all for watching. And let me know what y'all take on the, uh, uh, y'all opinion and y'all thoughts on Return of the Jedi in the comment section down below. And like always, may the force be with you. Always. Thank y'all.